Good afternoon, everybody. I look like a cop, don't I? Today is Tuesday, July 27th, and I am about to get on that bus. Well, technically there's no bus right now, but there will be a bus over there. And I'm gonna get on that bus and go all the way to Denver, Colorado. And there's a special guest with me at the moment. Look who it is. Huh? Casey slash Lindsay say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. So I'm taking a bus to Denver, Colorado to get on the Colorado Trail. Fortunately, Casey slash Lindsay is not coming with me again. Will you miss me? Will you be okay without me? Mm. Are you sure? That you're not going to be okay? Just a little bit? Well, I won't be okay either, but we'll make it through it. So, if you're wondering, am I going to record the whole way to Colorado? No. So, it's just, I need to sleep because as soon as I get to Colorado, I'm jumping on the Colorado Trail. So, it's going to be almost a two hour, or two hour, it's, it's going to be almost a two day drive. And then I'll get there on the 29th at 9.40 in the morning. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a long, long two days, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be worth it. And don't worry, babe. I always come home, right? Better. I will. Don't you worry. So uh, we'll see you guys in two days in Colorado. Two days later. here this is mile zero of 497 miles and those are the mountains that I'm gonna be climbing these next couple of weeks next month I don't even know man uh, it's like past eight o'clock and I'm finally on trail I had what was supposed to be a, a 43 hour bus ride that turned into 56, I don't even know. We had delays, we had breakdowns, we just, it was a whole crap show. But I'm finally here, I'm finally moving, and I'm finally on the ground where I belong. Colorado Trail, I'm coming for you. And you know what it is. Most importantly, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, it is pitch black and you can't even tell. Hey, you can kind of tell. I'm in between two canyons. Well, I'm in a canyon. I'm not in between two canyons. But I can't camp for seven miles, man. And that sucks. So, what I think I'm gonna do because this is a very pretty section of trail and I want you guys to see at least some of the miles from this section so don't tell anyone but there's a car coming so don't tell anyone but I'm gonna try and camp but if these cars patrol this like they do I don't think I'm gonna be able to but I'm gonna try and camp at like mile three or four we'll see how it goes okay well you know that car that was coming up behind me? That was the trail police. Nobody told me 
that you can't be on the Waterton Canyon Trail past 8 o'clock. So, technically, I was doing something illegal. And he pulled over. He said, what is it you're doing? And I told him. And uh, he said, well, technically, you're not allowed on the trail past 8 o'clock. He said, I'm going to have to ask you to turn around. I said, well, sir, I don't live around here. I, I'm through hiking. And he's like, oh. I said, can I, can I turn around? And man, he, I just skipped like seven miles. I'm so upset. I had no choice. But anyway, I just told him, can I turn around and go camp back at the parking lot? And he said, no, there's no camping there. So he said, I'll tell you what. I'll drive you the seven miles to the campsite and you can go camp where you're allowed. And I was like, I don't have much of a choice, do I? And he's like, no, you really don't. So here I am. I apologize, guys. You didn't get much footage. I didn't even get to see the whole Waterton Canyon. But I'm going to go set up my tent and I guess I should eat dinner because I'm starving and uh, it doesn't help that the man was telling me there's mountain lions and grizzly bears in Colorado although I've never heard of grizzly bears in Colorado so anyway that wraps up day slash night one and have a good night and we'll see you guys tomorrow